Right, so in my euphoria, I managed to play some without recording. Um, yeah, so what happened? A few uprisings happened. We forced tribute from this guy that helped us in the last defense. And we are looking to possibly force some more tribute in the north. Because there's another invasion on the 7th of June, which actually we don't have enough time to, ra to have another war. So right now, these are our pacts. No option for an alliance here. All these are our vassals anyway. So we have two tributaries that are going to send some troops. But we're basically stuck in the same situation. However, financially, we're a little bit better off this time. So mercenary-wise, we're actually able to afford a much larger band of mercenaries. And we're going to go with one that has 3,000 troops because we would otherwise just get two really or honestly we might look for something with more cavalry and get smaller troops but more of those because I feel cavalry is against those light infantry invaders basically the best thing so the Breton company would be definitely with us again they did Amazing the last time, and we might get a smaller one. The Breton Band. These were the ones that we had last time. So, come, uh, let's say, mid-April, we're going to mobilize all our troops. And defend against yet another invasion of Ireland. When is it coming? June. Yeah. Alright, time to raise our troops to the roof, roof, roof. Everyone is going to be a little bit sad about being up and about for so long. But we need to prepare. We have heard rumors of ships bearing dragons at their bows approaching from the frozen wastelands of Scandinavia looking for more fertile soil to till the till and toil the toil right okay it's almost end of may time to raise some mercenaries and have their morale be boosted where's the bretons there's a breton band which we're going to hire because they have proven themselves in our eyes how much do we earn not much. We should probably go for just the Breton company. Because they're going to deplete us. Even with all those coins rolling in. Again, we're absolutely relying on luck here. Our tributary has won his war, so he's a little bit battered. And we are losing money hand over fist. Oh, okay. Um, how do we take care of these now? Where's the invasion? We're not in a... F There's no invasion. God damn it. So we lost the huge bunch of money because we were preparing against an invasion that never came. Because of course it just stops like one day before it's supposed to arrive. Grand. Well at least we lost... Okay, let's put it in perspective. We only lost money, not the lives of our people. But that's good, I suppose. I suppose you could say that's good. Let's stand down our troops. And go to war. <laughs> this is a holy war, my friend. Thank you for showing me the arrow of your own ways. And how many troops do you have? Yeah. Uh, dear vassal of mine that I helped you defend against, this guy 
would you kindly, and dear, well, not vassal of mine, but dear tributary of mine, would you kindly do your job for me? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, so allies in war, you go siege the hell out of this. It's only one thing. You can totally do it for me. All right, so we gain wrath. It's not the worst trade. Good military boost. And if you can't be good as a fighter, you can at least be angry <laughs> as a fighter. Right, okay, time to look for further upgrades. What can we do? I mean, this looks appealing, but it's so costly for what it does. There's probably better things we can spend it on. God, let's let's spend on a little bit less expensive things, but also decently helpful things. Right, okay. When I said go siege, I meant go siege there. I know I lisp sometimes, and I'm not having the most clear enunciation in the world. And English is not my first language, it is Irish. Obviously. But I feel like you're being a little bit of a dick pretending you didn't understand exactly what I was saying there. I feel like that was really not a great move on your part. Next we're going to start war with wars with all of Scandinavia. Definitely. That's the next thing on our list. Right after we've taken everything up here. Hey you, Queen of Pickland, what can we do? Press a few claims for our people, eh? My brother. He could he could have a claim pressed, I feel. Definitely what we're gonna do. What? Wait. Oh now he went to attach on me. You silly goose. Don't attach. Sage. I mean, he's doing it. No, he's not doing it. He's stuck. He has not enough man. Really? King Yarnukon the third? You're not helpful. Everyone wants to marry my mother down there. Oh, he, he came of age now. Okay, let's have it. Can you stop your plot? No, you cannot. Well, you probably can, but you don't want to, which is different. But also kind of the same. Alright, we have a lot of prestige to spend, so... Well, let's spend it on this, honestly. Oh, wait, no. First, we make sure everything is upgraded to something where it converts to something else when we make a castle out of this. First things first. So we spend some prestige here. Speed this up a bit more. Ay ay ay. How many more of these do we have to put down? I like that it says maybe. Maybe we're going to join. Like you have a choice. Like you have a choice. We're just going to do this with our retinue and our allies who are already attached. How much do we get out of this? 10 prestige. And some moral authority. And this little place here. So let's turn this into a vassal. Oh, that's a... That's an actual castle here. Cool. So how many levies might you have eventually? We don't know. But we're going to keep it as ours for now. Not going to give it away. A 
Okay, the Pope is apparently very wicked. He is a wicked pri- uh, Well, he was a wicked priest. How wicked of him. To die of wicked infested wounds. Alright. Well, that was a quick one. Good. Well, since our retinue are not going to get any rest. Ever. At all. What do you belong to? Oh, 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 what? Oh, we came of age. Yes, goody. I finished my education in stewardship. I feel that I have truly found my calling. Wealth is a slave of a wise man and the master of a fool. So let us hope we are wise. We are fertile and stewardy. And we're going to pause the game for a moment and do all the things that we need to do in peacetime this time. Let's check if we can have some non-aggression pacts. Or some religious conversions, maybe. No, all the non-aggression pacts are already in place. You want to be in alliance? No, still not. Well, we don't either. I wasn't even asking for reals. Uh, right, 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 right. Are we a lunatic? We're not. We're not indeed not a lunatic. So this is not looking too bad. It could be much worse. First of all, we shall marry. Marry for the alliance within our realm. Now we shall pick a focus, which is going to be business. Definitely business for this man. And we shall work toward building a war chest. And this time we're going to possibly maybe get it. Eventually. And we shall organize a coronation ceremony. We got, we're not even going to ask the Pope. Honestly, we're not even going to ask him. I'm not even going to ask him. <laughs> going to straight to the bishop. Um... Yeah, let's have the gold. Thank you. And thus we are married. I do not need the gold as much as such. Okay, he just wants some gold. Fine, here, have some gold. And we are going to go all out for once. Because we're a businessman. We're making good business decisions. So, this guy, is he alone? Where is this? You. Holy war for the... A duchy? Oh yeah, fine. Definitely going in a holy war against this kid. Because his father, his father! He was a terrible, terrible man. And look who's gonna fight this war for us. You? And you! Is that just amazing? Oh no! I forgot again! Arg! All right, okay. With <laughs> why? It's a new it's a new mechanic. I'm not used to it. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. With so many distinguished guests having traveled all the way to my court, the least I can do is entertain them while we all wait for the day of my coronation. So, we're pretty good. No, we're not pretty good. Let's not embarrass ourselves. Meeting new rulers and exchanging ideas about politics and royal virtues has been an interesting consequence of this ceremony. Everybody has at least one anecdote to share with me about the proper way to rule a kingdom. I wonder which is closer to the truth. Proper handling of the realm's finances is fundamental, which plays in our hands. God. God almighty. What is it with me? Alright. This time, 
not a battlefield coronation, but still an extra event coronation, which is great. Okay. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Let's check out what we can build. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Something we really want. Let's check out. What do we need for another castle town? We need castle infrastructure four. Okay. Can we... Do we have enough for castle infrastructure four? No, we are far away from that. Okay, so what's the next best thing that we could have? The next best thing is really the keep. Also four. Anything required four or three? This. The barracks might need three. Castle. So really castle infrastructure three seems to be the best bet. Plus it gives us a castle tax. Which is nice, because we earn most of our income from castles. So let's have that, and then we can eventually build another barracks. Check this progress out. We're a little bit short on coin. Let's build up the war chest first, so we get the ambition bonus. And um, we can take care of all the rest. I wonder if he's going to send troops. Though some time has now passed since my coronation, the good people of Ulmurmheim are still in a festive mood, glad to finally see their king's status be recognized by the church. It would be nice to see my subjects continue to celebrate my rise to the throne if it were not for the fact that they are also using this as an excuse to work less. We could use the festivity to attract more traders. See? Stewardship is already paying off. Prestige. Revolt t risk goes down, local tax modifier plus 5%, which is where we have all our holdings, our main holdings, so... Wow. This is great. This is really, truly great. Alright, let's check our court, honestly. Uh, I haven't checked all of that. The council... Do we have people who shouldn't be on here and people who definitely should? No. Okay, our council looks good for once. Maybe... We have one, a whole supporter for all of these. Let's see if we can't change something here. Now. Oh, we could go for feudal administration, which everybody is against. Let's see if we can't make our court a little bit more happy toward us. Let's replace him with a loyalist. The bishop here is a loyalist. Could replace the court chaplain with a loyalist bishop. Oh no, let's replace him with this guy who is my courtier. Why do you like me? Why are you a loyalist? Pragmatist loyalist. He is content and he has an opinion. Of us. So he's mostly. Probably going to stay a loyalist. As he is content. Are you good at anything? No. You're decent at stewardship. So I could. Let's move a few shares. You. Are going to be replaced by. This guy. You. You change your council position to spy master, which isn't really great. Oh, I can't make him my spy master. It's a shame. Marshall doesn't help. Change my mind. I could just kick him out unceremoniously and put a loyalist there. Don't really care all that much about how good they are or anything. Our advisor... Well, they all kind of have non-aggression packs with me, do they? Don't they? Let's check on, um... Voting on some things. Alright, okay, we just need one of them... To support me. Uh, but, 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 no, uh, uh, yep, oh, where, where, yeah, there we go, that's where I want to go, all right, let's check, you are a glory hound, 
But why are you a glory hound? Why is it not telling me this again? Before it told me on the little thing. Pragmatist. How much do you like us? We give you a gift. Are you now supporting us? That doesn't look like he's gonna support us. Yep. So... Let's see. That council. I gave you money for nothing. I could offer to join his war. Which might make him into a loyalist. What war are you fighting anyway? Oh look, he's sending troops actually. Huh. What are you fighting? Attacking, attacking. So let's offer to join his war. Which I cannot do. Let's send him a gift too. It's not going to change much with him. It's going to give me council support though. Let's do that. Let's let's have Oh, one favor. It's going to bite me eventually. Um, I, I know it. Okay, let's change to late administration. Because now, if they interfere, if they refuse interference in war, they're going to be traitors. And we can work towards changing our inheritance laws. Finally. So he vo voted for what we want already. The Cadaver Synod. I have received strange news from Rome. The former Pope, Pope Nicholas II, did by his actions and lifestyle so defile the Holy See that the current authorities in Rome decided to put his corpse on trial. The corpse of Pope Nicholas II was removed from its tomb and brought to the papal court for judgment. It was popped, propped up on a throne and a deacon was chosen to speak for his at his legal representative. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the accused was found guilty on all accounts and subjected to a punishment most dire. The corpse was stripped of its papal vestments, three fingers and the right hand, those used to give blessings, were cut off. And then it was in interred in a graveyard normally reserved for foreigners of low status. The punishment will not be still not being deemed severe enough. The corpse was then exhumed again, tied to weights, and cast into the river Tiber. Sounds wise enough. The huge Saxon army moving through our lands. Very good. Alright. Ellen might fancy me. No thank you. I'm sure she's a nice lass. I'm sure she's nicer. Can we have concubines? No. So we need to hope. And he won his holy war in the north. Very good. Let's our allies take care of this little army there. While we continue our siege. Great. The great celebration that surrounded my coronation concluded a while ago, but the trade and wealth that they brought to Umerheim are still lingering, an unexpected consequence of my generosity. 75 gold we get. Flourishing trade. And we have fulfilled the ambition to build a war chest. Well, I never. Let's groom an heir. We definitely need that. And what shall we do with the gold? Something cool, like build more stuff. Sounds great. Let's build something expensive. Let's splurge. For greater, bigger armies that we'll need down the road. As Scandinavia turns its ever greedy eye on the green, lush, fertile soil of dear old Ireland. Oh, look who we turned down. She is quite the hussy. Let us have him pay a little to keep my confidence. Uh-huh, okay. Well, the bishop is treasonous. Wait. 
Isn't he like one of our... No. We'll keep the information to ourselves. Okay, so... Blackmail failed, but we're not in need of money. We don't need it. They were just joined. Oh well, too late, my friend. Too late. Mine. Mine and mine alone. Good. Could hold a grand tournament. Definitely not going to do that. And at this point, we're going to stop. Because it's getting long again. <laughs>